Possession, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. One general way of locating a particle-like object is with a position vector r, which is a vector that extends from a reference point, usually the orange of a coordinate system, to the object. In the unit vector notation, r t, means r changes with time t, equal to x i y j z k, where i j k are the unit vector along x y z axis respectively. They are constant. And the coefficient x, y, and z are the scalar components. They are three independent coordinates has nothing to do with each other. But this way, R equals x i y j z k. The coefficient x y and z gives the object's location along the axis and relative to the origin. That is, the object has the rectangular coordinates x y z. For example, if r equals minus three i plus two j plus five k, this means. This point, ah, this point is here, and its location is minus three to five. That means the project on x axis is minus three. This is positive. This is negative. Minus three. So this project here, to x, the project to y is two. Okay. And project to z is z is x y z. Project z, you get this is five. If the object has position vector r one at time t one, and a position vector r two at the later time t two equals t one plus delta t, then its displacement delta r during the time interval delta t is. Delta r equal r two minus r one, always the final minus initial by definition. Now, have a look at this one in two dimension, three dimensional. This is the red line is the project of the the particle. A time t one is located at this one. This is r one. This is orange x y z, and after. Delta t t two equal to t one plus delta t. It moves from here to here. Okay, and there displacement delta r is r two minus r one. Okay, is this one? Okay, is this one? Okay, and this one. Now we do it. R two is x two i plus y two j plus z two k. R one is x one i and y. Plus y j plus z k, and and you can write it x two minus x one i y two minus y one j z two minus z one j. This is a vector. Ah, is a vector. Okay, so, so r two minus r one is this one. That r. Velocity, two dimension case. A okay. now. The particle moves this way. Its velocity always tangent to its to this curve. Okay, and we can divide this v as a v x along x direction and v y along y direction. So we can say that v can have two component. One is v x, one is v y. Or we can say otherwise. These two vectors. The sum is v. Okay. By definition, v equal to delta r of delta t and limited t equal to zero. Okay, this is a delta r delta t is the average velocity. If we take delta t smaller smaller approach to zero, we take the limit, and this is a definition in calculus. 
DRDT, okay, DRDT. This is a two dimension, okay. Now we see V equal to DRDT. This is R can be right XI plus YJ plus ZK. X, Y, Z are changed with time T. So we put this one in sign. Yeah. Since I, J, K is a constant, so we can rewrite this one as D, X, D, T, I plus D, Y, D, T, J, D, Z, D, T, K. And at the same time, V is a vector. So it has three components. V, X, I plus V, Y, J plus V, Z, K. We compare these two in front of i, in front of j, the k, and we find vx equal to dx dt, vy equal to dy dt, vz equal to vz. This is a exactly similar to the one-dimensional situation, v equal to dx dt. Okay. And the speed is the magnitude and the velocity equal to v equal to Square root vx square plus vy square plus vz square square root. Simple. A man on a terrace is pulling a block of mass m on the ground. Throw a small pulley as shown in the figure. Suppose h is the height of the terrace, s is the distance of the block to the bottom of the terrace. V0 is the velocity of the map. What is the velocity of the block? Very simple question. Vm, now, nah, V0 is dr dt. The change rate is its velocity, right? For example, it moves one meter, so the velocity is one, and then that means in one second it moves one meter. So this dr is shorter than one meter. So dr dt for the v0. Okay. Now, this vm is v0. This is tangle theta, cosine theta, or someone say, I like to see, v0 is vm cosine theta. Just the opposite. Which one is right? Okay, we just guess. We give it, should give them a some scientific foundation. Let's, let me see. V0 equal to dr dt. I have explained it before, right? Yeah, because in V velocity is the, the speed distance per unit time. If this go one meter, this is a short one meter. So dr dt equal to v0. And the block mode vm, vm equal to ds dt. Right? Yeah, we call it ds dt. And then we see, we want to find that relationship. Actually, we want to find the relationship r and s. You see this one? s in this rectangular s square equal to r square minus h square so s equal to square root r square minus h square now we want to find some we find a v v is ds dt we want to relate it to r v zero what we do this is a, according to calculus ds dt equal to ds dr and dr dt okay remember that we can cancel out this one because ds dt. And dr dt is v0. Now, let's see this one. What is the ds dt? Now, we do the derivative of s relative to l. So this is equal to half. Yeah, half. This will become half minus 1 because minus half 1 and the 2 l. This is a very simple one. We get R over S. This is R, this is S. Okay. This is larger than 1. This is R, this is S. This is larger than 1. So we want to see Vm equal to R of S V0. Or V0 equal to Vm S of R. 
S of L is this cosine theta. Okay, so our answer is V0 could be Vm cosine theta. This conclusion is based on a solid scientific calculation definition. Average and instantaneous accelerations. We know A average is delta V delta T. In time interval delta T, the velocity change delta V. v. And instantaneous acceleration equal to the average acceleration takes delta T approaches zero. And this one in calculus is definition, okay? Definition again, dv d theta, dt. I'm sorry, dv dt. Okay. And this acceleration is a vector. It will have component ax and ay. In this case, it looks like ax is along x direction positive, ay is along the negative y direction, and this is a. Uh, this is a, a acceleration a equals dv dt since v is dr dt so a is second derivative of r respect to time t rewrite it okay this is dv dt this is a v okay this is the second derivative of r respect to time t okay and we know IJK is a constant, IJK. So this one actually is dv x dt i plus dv y dt j plus dv z dt. And here is second derivative of x written back to time t i plus second derivative of y with time t and so on. And a itself, is a vector. It has three components, AXI plus AYJ plus AZK. Now, we compare the coefficient in front of I, J, and K. We get AX equal to DVX dt. Second derivative of X with respect to time t. And then we switch X, replace X with Y and Z. We get a y equal to d d t v y or second derivative of y with the delta time t. So z a z equal to d d t d v z d t or second derivative of z with the delta time t. Similar to the one dimensional situ situation. Example. The position vector of a particle is initially r1 minus 3i plus 2j plus 5k. Now, this is what we have met before, okay? And then later is r2, 9i plus 2j plus k. What is the displacement from r1 to r2? By definition, displacement dr equal to R2 minus I1, final minus initial. Okay, we put this one inside. Okay, we put one inside and we, we get the answer very easily. Okay, okay, this is X2, 9. X1 is minus 3, minus minus 3. Uh, Y2 is 2. Y1 is 2. Uh, Z2 is 8. Zero. So we get this answer very simple. Example, a rabbit runs across a parking lot on which a set of coordinates axis has, strangely enough, been drawn. Okay. The coordinates of the rabbit's position as a function of time t are given by x equal to minus 0.31t squared plus 7.2t plus 28. Y is 0.22t squared minus 9.1t plus 30, or a function of time t, with t in seconds and xy in meters. Question A. At t 15 seconds, 
what is the Rebbe's position vector R in unit vector notation and as a magnitude and an angle? This is a very simple question. Straightforward. We know the equation and we put the T equal to 15 seconds and we get an answer. Okay. Ah, get it, sir. And it's R equal to XT, right? T. Okay. When it's 15, 16, we find this one equal to 66. And Y equal to minus 57. So this is R in. Okay. And the magnitude of R, now look at this one. This location at T15. Okay. R is 66X here. Y is minus 57. This is Y, this is X, Y is this one. So this is location, R, okay. The magnitude of this R equal to this square plus this square, okay. So the R is R X squared plus Y squared, square root. We put this number inside, we get 87 meter. And the theta, remember, 10 in the theta, this one, is always Y component over X component. So this is Y of X. Okay. We put them inside. According to the situation, we can get theta. Okay. Ah, this can have a two answer. We pick up minus 41 in this situation because of the location. Question B. Graph the rabbit's path for T equal to 0 to T equal to 25 seconds. Now, we give it the, the position with time t. We put t equal to zero, we get this one. t equal to five, we get this one. t equal to 10, 10, and then we plot this one. This is a tedious, simple one. Okay. Sample. For the rabbits in above sample, find the velocity v at time t, 15 seconds in unit notation, and as a magnitude, and as an angle. Now, this is given. But V, V is Vx equal dx dt. Vy is dy dt. So it's very simple to do it. Do the derivative with respect to time t. This is a two minus six two, okay? Minus six, this is a point 7.2, this is zero, this is the answer. And dy could a dy dt, this is a 0.44t minus 9.1. Right? And then the t is in 15 seconds. We put the t inside, we get a vx. Okay, x to vy. Now, vx minus, vy is minus, so v is minus 2.1i minus 2.5j. Now look at this one. This is location. The velocity v is x is minus. This is a positive. It's a minus. V y is minus. This is a positive. This is minus. So this is a, the v. Well, we know that's tangent to the curve, right? Yeah, this is one. And the magnitude is v x squared plus v y squared square root. It minus 2.1 square plus minus 2.5 square square root gets 3.3 meter per second. And the angle, you know that, the angle is always y, y, this is y, this is angle y of x, it's tangent, okay, yeah. It's always y over x, x. This is vy over vx, you get a positive number, okay the positive number. So this angle is minus 130. Okay. Sample. For the rivets in the above sample, find the acceleration A at time t 15 seconds in unit notation and as a magnitude and an angle. Uh, this is a given. So we get a V. V is dx, vx to dx dt, okay? Vy is dy dt. And ax is v, d, vx dt, okay? So ax is 
d v x d t. This one minus six or is zero. And a y is d v y d t. Okay, this one is point four four. So you see the a a is a x i minus six i plus a y j point five i j. Uh, in this uh, case, a is nothing to do with time t anymore. So it is constant. Uh, it's a constant acceleration movement. Okay. So t in 15 is constant any time. Okay. Now we look at this one. a is minus ax. ay is positive. So this is a direction of a. Uh, this is a direction of a. The magnitude is ax squared plus ay squared square root. 0.76 meter per second per second. And theta is always y over x. Okay, you have two choices. Based on this situation, okay, it is 145. Sample. A particle with velocity v0 equals minus 2.0i plus 4.0j in meter per second at t equal to zero. Undergoes a constant acceleration a of magnitude a equals 3.0 meter per second per second at an angle theta 130 degree from the positive direction of the x axis. Now, the acceleration is a constant, okay, with magnitude and angle, okay. And v0 at the beginning, velocity, this one. What is the particle's velocity v at t equals 5.0 second in unit vector notation and as a magnitude and as an angle? Now, this is a constant acceleration. So we use a v equal to v0 plus a t. Two dimensional, you have two components, okay? Vx equal to V0x plus Axt. Y component, Vy equal to V0y plus Ayt. Now, we have this one. Vx0 is minus 2.0. Vy0 is 0 0.40. Now, T given, we want to find Ax and Ay. We know A. A equal to, this is an angle. So, Ax equal to a cosine theta, a y equal to a sine theta. This is a theta. Okay, so this is a very simple question. Okay, we put it. Okay, ax, a y can find ax as a cosine theta, three point zero times cosine one hundred thirty. It's so minus one point nine three meter per second per second. Ax is a sine theta. You could plus 2.30 meter per second per second. V0 given minus 2 per second. So we put this one one by one. Vx equal to Vx0 minus 2.0 minus 0 0.0. Ax minus 9.4. T, T is 5.0. We get Vx. So, similar Vy equal to Vy0 4.0 plus a sine theta plus 2.30 time. You get this one. So we get a v. We take the two significant digital. So this is a run up minus 12. This is run up 16. So this is minus 12 i plus 16 j now, of course, meter per second. Right? The magnitude v equal to vx squared plus vy squared square root. Okay, is nineteen point four meter per second. Okay, it's nineteen meter per second, and the angle is always tan theta equal to vy over vx. Okay, vy is sixteen or fifteen point one. Okay, vx is minus. So this is minus. We get one hundred twenty seven. Take two significant digital 
Iran at 130.